Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Well, it is Kerbal Space Program. We are going to play Kerbal Space Program, and we're going to play in career mode because of reasons. Oh, what flag should we have? You know, I should probably put my... I'll do that later. We'll, we'll stick with the original the original one. Uh, so this is Kerbal Space Pro Program. Uh, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, it is a... Well, it's a space program simulator game thingamajig. Um, so, we build spaceships which go into space. We accomplish missions. Um, we do science. And we learn and grow and all that wonderful stuff. Um, so I haven't actually played career mode before, but I've got a general idea of what to do. So we're going to go into mission control here, which are our missions. And we're going to get some missions. So this one, at Kerbin World First Record Keeping Society, we need brave Kerbals with the right stuff to help achieve our dreams. So we need to do a quick report before launching and get some scientific data. And then we're also going to launch our first vessel. So let's do both of them. So yeah, so basically you've got your space plane hangar, which you can design space planes. You've got your vehicle assembly building, which is where we're going to be most of the time. And the rest of the stuff we will get to to begin with. Okay. So, first things first. So we, we've got our goals, which are... Scientific data and launch. Pretty simple. So we've got our command pod for our Kerbin. Who we're going to have Jebediah Kerbin pilot the ship. Um, we're going to need uh, a solid fuel booster. Which is just an engine. Um, I'm probably going to need a science experiment, mystery goo. Uh, let's click on the symmetry there so we can get it. So see, it's all nice and symmetry. Uh, and then we probably need a parachute so we can land safely. So let's just call this. Um, Enterprise Mark 1. From humble beginnings. Beginnings comes science. So yeah, so with career mode, we're starting pretty goddamn basic. Because um, we we quite literally have a rocket. Uh, you know what? I, I forgot to do this. So down here, the ships are controlled with stages. Um, so first we're going to ignite the engine, and then we're going to deploy the parachute, because obviously we don't have, don't want to have both of them on at the same time. So, firstly, I think this is how you, yes, so we're going to observe our mystery goo. The goo isn't doing anything. Anything, anything. Um, because we're just sitting here. So that's fair enough, so we'll keep that experiment. Uh, we can also do a crew report, I think, so if we click on, I think it's a, yeah, so if we can, we can turn the lights on. Hey! Actually, what is, there you go, that's inside. We've got, you know, controls, we can see everything from here. Uh, so let's do the crew report in the launch pad, and we'll keep that, and then let's, um, let's get going. So, if I remember the controls... Engage throttle. Launch in five, four, three, two, a one. We have liftoff. Okay. So while I'm in the air, I'm going to observe this mystery goo as we go up. It, it wiggles, jiggles, and wobbles. And there we go. So we get, get Jesus, that's quite high. There's the moon. So yeah, so key thing, so we've got this nav ball down the bottom here, that's, that shows our uh, 
orientation. Uh, we've got the throttle on the left. Uh, roll your and pitch down in the bottom left here. Uh, we've got our surf speed, so we're slowing down. And we are coming up to our peak, and that is now, and now we're falling. Um, so I can control, I can control the ship, but I'm going to toggle SAS, so that's going to tell Jebediah down here to uh, try and point it straight up. Uh, we've got our height here, so we are falling, and that's about it for now. So let's go and... Um, let's go and deploy our parachute. And hopefully we don't crash. Because you can crash. Come on, come on, nice and safely. And land it nice and safe. Okay, you really need to deploy now. Come on, deploy. Deploy. Catch out. Uh, slowing, slowing, slowing. And we are good. Jebediah waves. We are all good. So let's just fast up. Let's just quicken the speed up so we don't have to sit here and wait. So there we go. So that is our first successful launch. Nice and easy. So let's go and recover the vessel. And what do we get? So we got our crew report, which gave us some science. 1.5. We observed the mystery goo twice. So you get different amounts of science for observing it in different locations. So we got three from the launch pad and seven from flying. Uh, and then we recovered some stuff. So we also got our parts back. So we actually recovered most of our money. And that is that, so I think, off memory, oh no, we don't need that. Uh, we've done both of our goals as well with that. Yep, cool. So let's do the next one. So we've got Escape the Atmosphere, which we will do, and Orbit Kerbin, which might take a while. I have played this game before, so maybe not, but we'll see. So, actually what we're going to do beforehand... Is we're going to go to research and development. So this is our tech tree here. Yeah, so there's quite a lot to do, but I'm going to start with basic rocketry, which costs five science to research, uh, and then probably uh, engineering 101, uh, and that's as much as we can afford at this point. So what we're going to do this time is we're just going to focus on escaping the atmosphere, not orbiting, because that will take a while. So let's go and get a new one. We'll need a command pod. Um, and then we've got a liquid fuel engine now, and some new solid fuel boosters, another fuel tank, and if memory serves me right, we've got another science experiment. So let's go... Do we have a decoupler as well? Yes, we do. We do have a decoupler. So, first things first, we need let's do a decoupler for now. Actually, can we I'm just try and find... ah no? Let's do. Let's put some thermometers down. Let's do some science experiments and then we're going to put some more goo. Just like that. Looks a bit weird, I know, but it's worth it. Let's put some parachute on and then let's go and do a decoupler on top. Okay, so now we need to get out of orbit, so let's just put some fuel tanks on. So these are fuel tanks, which have got liquid fuel and oxidizer. You need oxidizer to ignite the flame. Let's just keep going with that. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do... 
Uh, where's my decoupler? Coupling, there we go. Uh, actually, I need an engine for it. So we're gonna do liquid fuel there, stick a decoupler there, and then put these ones down here. Do another. Oh, actually, do a booster. Okay, so basically what we're doing, hopefully, once I design it, is we'll go through and I'll talk about what we're doing. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me, sorry. Um, so let's go. Actually, let's go and do liquid fuel there and then do another decoupler. Coupling there. Just stick that there. I'm gonna take these wings and put it there. Okay, so we've got a pod with our experiments because we need to keep the experiments. We've got our fuel tanks going to our booster, which will detach after uh, another set of boosters. Because basically, it, once these are all empty, it's just added mass, which will slow us down. So the big solid fuel will get us going, and then the liquid fuel should keep us going, and keep us going, and then we will bottom out. So let's just check all of our stages. So we want that engine to go first, and then decouple, and start that engine at the same time. And then we want... Uh, we want that one to decouple, and that engine to go, and then that one to decouple and deploy the parachute. So let's call this one uh, the Atmo I, I'm not I'm not good at names. Atmo Atmocraft Atmocraft Mark 1 because our goal is just to break through the atmosphere and hopefully this doesn't go horribly Okay, so, throttle on, uh, SAS on, so that he's going to try and keep it as straight as possible, launch in 3, 2, 1, go. So you've got quiet, it's a lot heavier, so there's a lot more mass to push, that's all good. So we want to check our fuel levels down in the bottom left here, and as soon as that's empty, we're going to just jettison that and get going with the next one. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slowly arch right with this one because we've actually got control with this one. And we just want to make an arc, basically. Um, so then that way we're not coming straight down because that would be bad. I'm just nudging it, just nudging it. Alright, this tank is almost out. There we go, that one is gone. So this point here, the yellow mark, is actually our... See, we're penetrating, there we go. So I'm going to observe the goo here. Um, so that's actually the momentum, so that's where the direction we're actually going. Oh shit, okay, turn it down, turn it down. So we're actually heating up. Alright, let's go full ball. Well, we are out. So we are out of fuel. So let's take this time to observe. Let's log the temperature. From the upper atmosphere. Um, I think. I think we're in space now. So this is where we can look. So that is our orbit. Not much of an orbit, granted, but it's an orbit nonetheless. So when we're in orbit, we've got the apoapsis here, that's the peak of our orbit. Um, and 
as you can see, we're going to head back into Kerbin. So we're not actually at a full orbit around Kerbin. Um, so yeah, so for now, let's just do our science experiments. So let's absorb a local temperature in space. We've collected it. Let's observe mystery goo. So we've observed it in space and then that leaves one temperature um, for when we land. So let's go and fast forward a bit because we're just going to go up, up to the point and then now we're going to go back down. All right, so let's detach this off. Oh, uh, you know what I should have gotten? I should have gotten a um, heat plate to protect us. So, because we're going to generate quite a lot of heat. So hopefully, we're not going to burn. Oh no, we're going to burn up in re-entry, aren't we? Yes, we are. This is not going to go well. Uh, boom. Shit. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Everything's fine. Nothing bad's happening. Nothing bad. Oh, there goes all our science experiments. That's okay. I think Jebediah, uh, Jebediah will be fine though. So we are in the middle of the ocean on the dark side of Kerbin, so it's going to be quite hard to see. So yeah, so I need a heat shield on the bottom to protect us when we're falling back down. So let's just go, oh no, there's the sun. As it sets on Kerbin. Or rises, I can't tell. Let's just deploy the parachute. Hopefully, that will slow us down. So we've got debris actually in orbit still. So let's go and do a crew report. Let's keep that. Hopefully, um, at least we'll get some science. Let's go and fast forward some time. So we might actually see the debris fall. Yeah, let's get in there. And there's the rest of our spaceship. And <laughs> All right, I doubt we're going to be recovering that. Nice and softly. Down. That is a mission complete with some damages, but not too bad. Okay, we didn't get too much, but we got... No, we got a decent amount of science, that's fine. Um, we lost a couple of things, but we we did breach the atmosphere, so we did get that. So, for the next part, so I'm going to unlock survivability so we can get our heat uh, and general rocketry, which should get us able to orbit the moon. Uh, not the moon. Kerbin, that's the next goal. Um, but what we can see... For later on down the line is we've got Kerbin and then the moon so that's the next goal would be to orbit the moon and land on the moon then we've got another moon Minimus and then we can start trying to tackle the rest of the solar system anyway so that's Kerbin space program hopefully you enjoyed it um, I love this game it's just like all the little it's science. Science is cool. Um, so if you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to see some more Game Jump material and some more space travels, then please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Jam, signing out.